Hello everybody, this is Emil from Graphics Media Production and today we are going to create this scene where a sphere is falling down and hitting a, a cube and the cube is breaking apart and the cube has also two different colors and that's blue on the inside and gray on the outside and this is made by a plugin and I will show you how to use it and this is the result of the tutorial. So now we're going to get started. So first step is to download the plugin and you can find the link in the description. Second is to find where you have installed your Cinema 4D. So I have mine installed at C, Program Files, Maxon, Cinema 4D, Artwell, Plugins. So under the plugins folder, so just drag and drop the plugin folder to this folder, and you're ready to go. So in Cinema 4D, I first want to set up my in output. I want to select a preset here that I want to use. HDV 720p with 25 frames per second, and I want to start off with building my scene here so I just want to add a floor and I want to add a new material to the floor just drag and drop it and then I want to add some lights So now I want to begin with my object that I want to fall in pieces. So we add a cube for example and place it on the ground here. And then we going up here to plugins and here we have the plugin Trousy and we choose the first one here that's named Trousy and we have some tabs here Trousy, Dynamics, Materials and Bake well we're going to stick to the Trousy tab here and in the pieces we select how many pieces we want this to break apart in so I just go here down and press break down and it will break this this cube apart in 40 pieces which I selected. So right now if we play this forward you will see the cube is just going down through the floor and that's because the floor has to be a collider so we select the floor layer we go simulation dynamics and create collider and now when, when we play this we'll, we will see that the cube is breaking apart but we don't want that maybe we want it we want it to break apart when a sphere is hitting the cube so here's the cube and if we go to the tag right here we can go down to the trigger and it's selected on immediately and we change that to on collision so now when we play nothing will happen also when you're playing um, also remember to press this button to re-rewind it because it always has to be when you do add something more to it and well what we now want to do is to add our sphere so we go here up and add our sphere and make it smaller and now when we play nothing is still happening that's because the sphere has to be a rigid body so we go up to simulation again then dynamics and create rigid body now when we play forward we will see that it breaks apart but right now this one doesn't really have any colors or something like that 
there's no shadow or something so we want to add some shadows maybe we go to lights I select all three lights here and I go to shadow shadow is set to none we change it to shadow maps soft the density we can change down to 50 so it won't be that strong so now we can see we got some shadows but still we can add some shadows under these objects and doing that we go to this render settings here we go down to effect ambient occlusion and we go into maximum ray rate and we change it from 100 to like 160 and contrast we can change that up a bit to maybe 40 and we just close it down like that and now when we render it out you will see we got some more shadows and it look a bit nicer and as you can see we got no colors so to add colors we have two materials that has been created when we added the plugin and this one is named cut out so this is the outside of the object and this one cut in is the inside so if we want the outside maybe gray color and the inside we make a blue color so now you can see that this color has changed and now you maybe want some small pieces also so I will just rewind this animation and on this cube we see we have all these pieces if we select one and then we go to plugins drowsy drowsy we're gonna break this piece even more so it will be more pieces so you can like add maybe 30 something like that break now and you see it's breaking even more so now we got smaller pieces and when we play this forward you can see that there's smaller pieces we can also make even smaller we select a small piece and we go down to plugins drowsy drowsy and just break it up even more And now we got even smaller pieces now it was even more jumping and as you can see it's like gliding on the floor and that doesn't look very realistic unless it's like ice or something like that so we can change the friction and you go to floor and this collider object tag uh, we got some options here down the friction it's on 30% here and we can change it to 100% and now these pieces won't really glide that much and it may look more realistic or so so that's how you are making this effect and please subscribe comment rate and everything else